One of the things I enjoy most in life is going to the movies, but what I don't enjoy so much is some of the stuff you have to put up with when you go to the movies. The first hurdle, the refreshment stand, where they've discovered that ice is a lot cheaper to sell you than pop. Small popcorn, please. This is Junior. The other two sizes are family and bathtub. The good theaters pop their own popcorn. The bad theaters sell you popcorn that tastes like it was popped six months ago in Taiwan. And they cover it with something that tastes like some sort of petroleum byproduct. Where to sit, where there's nobody in front of you or next to you. Or no matter where you move. There are all sorts of little survival tricks you learn. For example, my eye doctor told me, always sit twice as far back as the screen is wide. That way, you can see the whole screen without your eyeballs rolling back and forth a lot. She's not really his sister, she's the killer. This is my all-time number one pet peeve, people who sit right behind you and give away the whole plot. In another minute, there's gonna be a big explosion. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Thanks a lot. Now you might ask, if things are so tough, why do I go to the movies? And the answer is, things are bad on the subway, too. Things are tough all over, and at least at the movies, you get entertained. When was the last time you saw Anastasia Kinski on the Ravenswood line? Roger Ebert, Eyewitness News.